Hello, hello, hello and welcome to task 24. I believe it's been a fabulous journey for you all so far writing your SLR paper with me. When I read your comments, I feel super happy because I can see my efforts not going to waste. A lot of you are following these videos and that makes me very, very happy. I have one very exciting news to share with you all. This week, my channel reached two major milestones. First, my channel completed 250,000 views and this will not have been possible without you all. So thank you, thank you and super thank you. Next, my channel completed 100,000 hours of watch time. That is, researchers have seen my videos for a total of 100,000 hours. It's a huge number and I feel so happy that I was able to impact so many people with my knowledge. I hope you all become successful researchers. I hope you all continue to watch my videos in the future. Hope you have subscribed to my channel. If not, please do it now. Thank you very much and don't forget to press the bell icon as well. All right. Next, I would like to thank you all for leaving very, very nice comments on my channel. Every time I read such comments, I feel very motivated and continue to like to make more videos for you all. I was delighted to see this comment on one of my videos the other day. It really made my day. So thank you, Yasmin. Yasmin said, thank you so much, Prof, for this series. I'm watching the video for the second time so as not to miss any part during the writing process. If you're serious about finishing your systematic literature review paper, then like Yasmin, I suggest that you watch these videos a few times to ensure that you don't miss out on anything. I also want to thank all those who regularly comment on my videos and ask their questions. It also gives me the motivation to continue making these videos for you. So thank you, Kazi, Samia Sayed, Omar Saad, and Michelle Tan, and a lot of you all who regularly leave comments on my channel. If you're new here, do check out the task of the day series to learn how to write a systematic literature review paper in a step-by-step -step manner. It's completely free. Check the playlist on the top. Okay, let's get started. Today, I'm going to ask you to do some writing. Our task for today is to discuss the systematic literature review paper structure and its layout. We are going to write one paragraph that will outline the structure of the paper, including how many sections it has and what each section will cover. It is a fairly straightforward section. So let's see how to write this section. But before we start, let's understand why this subsection is important. The structure of the paper gives the reader an idea of what they can expect in this paper. It also helps you to give a mental structure for your paper. Typically, a systematic literature review paper has some standard sections like the introduction, methodology, results of findings, discussion, limitations, and future work followed by conclusion. There can be several different subsections under each of this section. All right, so in today's task, I want you to study the paper structure from the five papers that you have in your collection. You need to do two things. First, read all the five SLR papers and study their paper structure. Copy that and put them in your Word document and read it carefully and study how they have written their section. Most often, this is not a separate subsection, but normally the last paragraph in the introduction section will cover this. So look out for this subsection towards the end of the introduction. This is the first part of your task. Okay, now let's move on to the second task. Second, I want you to write three or four sentences to describe your SLR structure. Keep it to say around 80 to 100 words. That's what I typically do. And remember, today you are going to finish the second last subsection of the introduction. So have a positive attitude and get started on this task now. This task should take you 30 minutes or even less. My suggestion would be, if you find a sentence that you like, you should immediately write an equivalent sentence for your paper. This way, you will finish this task on time and you'll be more productive. Okay, next I will discuss the answer 
But before that, if you like this video series, then share it with other PhDs who may be struggling with writing their systematic literature review paper. Also hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right now. If you check the description of this video, you will find a link to a timer. When you're ready to start this task, click that link and follow the timer to finish your task. All the best. Let's get started with this task in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I hope you have finished completing this task. Now let me share the answer to this task. Have a look here. I am showing you one example from one of my SLR papers. Here you can see I have around 50 to 75 words written for this subsection. Now let's see what I have written. Let's break it down sentence by sentence. I have tagged each sentence to show what the sentence is about. Example 1. This research aims to analyze the existing studies, standards, tools and techniques in realizing EHR management in the three areas of focus. That is semantic interoperability, privacy preserving techniques for EHR storage and non-mediated EHR sharing. This sentence explains the research aims or the research goals. The research questions are listed in table 1 to carry out the study of EHR management and application of blockchain technology of the same. This sentence tells the reader that the research questions are in table 1. Let's look at the next one. The scope of our work is described with a structure diagram as shown in figure 4. This sentence tells the reader or guides the reader to refer to figure 4 for understanding the structure and layout of this paper. More about this in the next video. Now let's look at example 2. Aim of this research is to examine and analyze relevant studies and their findings in order to show the current status of research on smart grids and their integration with blockchain technology and IoT. This sentence explains the research aims or the research goals. To make the work more focused, we developed the five research questions shown in table 1. Again here you can see this sentence tells the reader that the research questions are in table 1. So if you want to analyze my writing, you will notice that I have three sentences. One sentence states the research goal or the research aim. Second sentence directs the reader to the research question. And the third sentence refers the reader to view the figure that shows the structure and layout of the rest of the paper. So keep this subsection simple and to the point. Even if you follow my style of writing and have only these three sentences, then that is also sufficient. Okay, I hope this video was useful and you learned something new. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. After you complete this task, I have two video suggestions for you. If you want to check the next task, then click the left video. Otherwise, click the right video for YouTube's recommendation. That's all in this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.